up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sun version in today's episode we're gonna be continuing where we left off inside the team skull mansion or hideout whatever this place is called uh, we left off with two passwords we needed a third off screen I've gone ahead and located this one it actually wasn't too hard to find it's down a little corridor that I had missed before but if you guys are excited for today's episode please go ahead shield bash the like button down below I appreciate the support and think about joining the shield wall today I speak too fast it's like all comes out so fast that it's it's you know okay let's just read it. beat up is the password people let's go let's a uh, go all right and we battled this chick off screen just to let you know she had a toxapex not a toxapex but the pre-evolution whose name escapes me um something to note is that we were told on the tapu coco if you remember password to say no team skull members always say no is what it said so we're gonna say no to this guy when he asks us for the password or whatever and see if that's what we have to do greetings vi greetings visitor y if you wish to meet master guzma then give me three secret passwords so uh, we're supposed to say no good glad to see you've got no bones about obeying your sacred tradition okay so we're not supposed to say no at least not there i guess uh, yeah, let's let's click yes this time. Then tell me this month's first password. I thought I was being so clever. Which move does Master Gu Guzma like best? Beat up. Kind of sound like James from Team Rocket. Then tell me this month's second password. Which Pokemon does Master Guzma like best? The Lissapod. Then tell me this month's third password. Which drink does Master Guzma like best? He likes Tapu Coco. Such a clever name for a drink. So you think the passwords are Beat Up, Glissapod, and Tapu Coco? Are you sure about that? And this is where we say no. No. <laughs> you know all Master Guzma's favorite things, and you even knew to say no at the end. Yeah, you're one of us, Bonehead. Okay. Let us on through. If you want to have an audience with Master Guzma, then follow the path out on the roof. All right. We're going to do that. I really don't want to talk to Guzma because, guys, I don't have a voice for Guzma. If you guys have any voice suggestions, like, leave me a link or something or, like, a description of the voice because I don't know what he sounds like. The only thing I can think of is Doofenshmirtz. From Phineas and Ferb, but I cannot do Doofenshmirtz's voice for the life of me. So please bear with me if I like struggle with the Guzma voice. I really don't know. Hello? Ah! Yeah, let's not battle on the roof. Oh, we're looking for a battle in a romantic spot, hmm? No, just looking to kick some booty. Let's do it! <laughs> uh, hopefully she doesn't have a lot of Pokemon. I'm sure she won't. These Pokemon, these trainers always have just one. Yeah, look at that. Look, she's about to throw down. I just saw this really funny, uh, like, YouTube video. It was, like, at a convention. It was, like, an anime expo, and these people dressed up as Team Skull Grunts, and they were all walking around, like, like acting like Team Skull. It was actually pretty funny. I liked it a lot. Um, but we can just go for another super effective psychic. Look at that. Mimikyu putting in the finest of works. This bat is fat. Oh, that's, that's super effective. Luckily, we have Disguise. So no prop, no bones about it. We have to make all these bone puns now because we're in Guzma's Guzma's lair. Um, let's go out to Veller. Veller should be able to take a poison hit as well as anything else this thing might throw at us, and then we can just fire off a thunder punch. Thunder punch. Uh, nice and easy. Oh my god, we got poisoned. What are the odds? What are the odds that we would get poisoned right now? Let's do it. Thunder punch. Thunder punch. Although we could just we could go for a smackdown too. I really don't know why I keep choosing thunder punch over smackdown. It, they're both stab, so I guess it doesn't matter. At least I think they're both stab. He's rock electric, right? He's not like steel electric now. Look at that, Veller. Veller. Still haven't figured out what Veller means. Maybe I, I probably looked it up in an old video and I didn't even realize it. Like, I've forgotten already. They're always so surprised when you win. They really shouldn't be. They're not that good. They're really not that good. Okay, let's go in here. This is clearly where we were supposed to go. Are these guys going to stop us? No, we're good. Okay, we're going in. Peace. 
quick. Oh, here's good. Oh. It is I, Doofenshmirtz. See, I can't do it. I can't do a Doofenshmirtz voice. I don't know what to do for this guy. Doofenshmirtz Incorporated. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma's here. See, he has too much of a high-pitched voice, I feel like. I don't really get you, kid, but at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. Um, I'm here for the Pokemon. I think that's why we're here. Oh, Young Goose, how sweet of you to help out a sad little girl. Hey. Eh. Q. All right, Young Goose. And you came all this way here for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do to someone who messes up when some machine messes up? That's weird. Why is he talking about machines? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now, let's see if you can't fix it. I can't fix you. Gosh darn it. I stink at reading, guys. I read too fast for my brain to comprehend what is going on. There's a kitty on my desk. I don't know if you guys can tell by the tail. Give me a mustache. A kitty mustache tail. It's looking at the screen like, what? What is this? This is Pokemon, kitty. This is Tinkerbell. She's a foster kitty. Come and you're up to me. Come and you're up to me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. She is a foster kitty, though. All right, so here's a Glissapod that he's he rants and raves so much about, guys. This Glissapod, it better put in the finest to work against us. Otherwise, it's useless. Our attack raises are special. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, it's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that. <clears throat> I see. Well then, we're gonna get all worked up again. You won't stand a chance. Uh oh <laughs> at least we have a disguise it's all good it's okay not not the end of the world just yet <clears throat> all right let's try just going for a shadow ball I f still feel like shadow sneak might be better Boop. razor shell please live please live oh boy oh boy oh nice crikey might crikey what is this thing weak to it's is it Water bug is a bug. I don't know what Glissapod is. I've never actually used a Glissapod, so we're gonna look this up. Just out of curiosity. Not like it matters too much. Like it's not a it's not a lock or anything. Glissapod, Glissapod. I know it's bug. I just don't know what else it is. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh-oh. Like, no information on it anywhere. <clears throat> bug water. I was right. Okay. It's bug water. So, Raquinid, not the best. No, Mudsdale, not the best. None of our Pokemon are very good in this situ <gasps> situation. So, go Raquinid. Rac when all else fails, a Raquinid out. All right. Leech life. We'll start with a leech life. Oh, we outspeed. I should save that. We get more health. Oh my god, that does like nothing. We are in trouble. Emergency exit. Oh, that's right. It still has that. What a nerd. What a nerd. Okay. All right. So he's got himself for area dose A. Area dose A. E. He's got an area dose A. I don't know what kind of voice that was, but okay. We'll go with it. All right, so he's got Felt Stinger. Interesting. Interesting. Let's try out our new flamethrower. See how it do. Get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked. So our fire move technically should be neutral, right? Because he's bug water. So fire should be neutral. Uh, oh, we have acrobatics. Boom! Nice. I forgot about that. Boop. You're dead. Get out of here. Don't want to ever see you again, Glissapod. Never again. Never ever. 
Never ever ever. Yeah, yeah, I gotta admit, that was great. Okay. Really not a fitting voice, guys. I, I wish I could do a Doofenshmirtz. I really do, because that would be the perfect voice. Guzma! What is wrong with you? <laughs> Yo, give that Pokemon back to that kid now. It's like, why? Why not just, like, no? Whoa, look at all those Z crystals he has. What? Hey. Yuck. Oh, God. Get out of here, kid. The other... I'm gonna beat you down one of these days, no matter whose help I need to do it. This one's one crazy old guy. One crazy dude. Buggyum Z. He didn't even use it against us. I thought, like, that's for sure. Oh, look at us. We are the king of the Guzmas. What? Excuse me, but... But, but, you're not the boss. What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me. What? <clears throat> okay. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's weird. Just a small little thing that threw into the game, I guess. What if I sit on it again? Then what? Then what? The arms of the chair look like they've been slammed countless times by angry fists. Great, good job, Guzma. You're, you're one swell guy. Like you said, he beats machines to make sure that they work. Can I just have the rest of these buggy MZs? Like I don't, I don't need them, but I, I don't mind taking them. You know, you know. That reminds me though. Let's see what kind of items we have to give to people, because we have. No one is holding like anything right now. The silk scarf. Uh, that we can give to Beware. Um, let's see. Do we have lefties? Do we have the leftovers? The leftovers? Do, 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 do. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, that's medicine, right? Oh, that's medicine. So this would be where it is. Huh. Alright, what about our Z crystal? We can give the new Z crystal, Buggy MZ, uh, to Raquin. Boom! Not bad. Okay. That's good with me, you know? Good with me. Oh, can't leave there. Gotta go through the shattered glass. Back out onto the roof. I don't know where we go from here. I assume, like, maybe some sort of story will happen at some point. Or do we just leave? I guess let's just start making our way out. The music in this place is really creepy. I kind of liked it, though. Oh, here we go. What kind of voice did I give him? I remember we had a very sp specific voice for this guy. I feel like, though, just based on how lame he looks, it's probably a lame voice. I don't know. Have, I got, have you got what I asked? Wait. Have I got you to thank for this? Yes, you do. Thing must have been scared half to death if it's glad to see a wretch like me. Okay. <laughs> he looks so cheerful. Oh, he's got a Z thing. What a lot of hassle. A trial goer, eh? Figures. Look, I'm not gonna fight someone who is taking on Team Skull. I healed your Pokemon up, so go. Just go. Oh my god. What a sourpuss. Though, looking around now, it seems like the fewer Team Skull folks around today than usual, huh? I guess some of them might have ran off after seeing their boss get beat. Uncle Nanu! I don't remember this girl's voice. And here comes the noise again. I think it was creepy, something like that. Uh, I'm so sorry. You must have been scared, huh? Thanks, Norsey, really. You're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're going, you're keeping an eye on things here. What else do you stay here for, if not putting stop to Team Skull's 
shenanigans. Oh, my throat. The rent's real cheap. No one else is crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull, after all. That's what you say, but it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? You could depend on Aether Foundation to look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts, but you stay here to look out for them, huh? Come on, young goose. Let's get you back to Aether House. Don't do it. They're all bad guys there. Don't go. Don't go. I'll come back to see you again soon, uncle. No one's asking you to. Oh my god. What a grumpers. Then come by Aether House when you're done, Alola. She's way too excited to be so melancholy. Uh... Pokemon tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Skull's locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. I don't know, Mr. Sadpuss. Well, let's go, though. Alright, so she went this way, so I'm kind of assuming we go that way, but have we checked out over here? Oh, yeah, that's right. None of this goes anywhere. Right? Yeah. Is this still blocked off? Just out of curiosity. No, it doesn't look like it's blocked off anymore. Coolio. Should we pay them one last visit? Oh no, he healed our Pokemon. We're good. We're good. We all good. We out of here. Now do we go? We did everything in the Team Skull place. I wonder if there's any new Pokemon on this route. I don't... Oh no. I don't want to run into one of these things. Really? Bum, 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 bum. Crab brawler. Crab brawler. Crab brawler. That's how I feel like it sounds in the anime. I could be completely wrong because I've never watched it. But psychic should do the trick. Super effective. Boop. Oh, he lived. But the good thing about Mimikyu is the decoy. Plus, he went for a fighting move, so it doesn't matter in the end, but gosh diggity darn it, he actually got help. Alright, that's it. That is it. We're working up. I work out. I work out. Alright. Mimikyu! I'm going for... Oh, payback. Ooh. Not gonna do anything. I mean... Because we have a disguise for one, but two, uh, like, it's it's not very effective. Actually, it's neutral, isn't it? It's neutral. Boop, will that kill? Yes. No. What? I was going for the Oko Wonders. The one hit wonders. Wow, that does a lot. Okay. Which one of you wants to die? How about you? Yeah, that's right. I should be able to throw out my second Pokemon. Like, when the when the other Pokemon calls for help, right, and get, actually summons one, don't you think I should be able to throw out my next Pokemon? You know? You know, bruh? I know, bruh. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We'll just go for a Shadow Sneak. Goodbye. We could, I guess we could have caught that. Oh wait, never mind. We already have crab brawler. We're good. Ganlon berry. Citrus berry. There's so many berries. Just keep going. Citrus berry. I'll take these all day, every day. And a Ross berry. Which reminds me, does any does Mimikyu have a health item? Oh, she doesn't. Or he, or is it a girl? It is a girl. Look at that. Held item. Let's give you either a citrus berry or the ghostium Z if we have it. We do have it. Take that. Ghostium Z. Why not? Why not? not? I mean, at least until we get a better held item for you. Which, honestly, you don't really have a particularly good held item that you could ever have. 
like you hold a red card competitively, but there's no point in that for Pokemon. Or like you could, I guess you could have leftovers, but being run that way doesn't make too much sense. I mean, we don't want Assault Vest because you're a perfect setup, Mon. So it's just kind of like, what do we do? I guess Citrus Berry was the only thing I can think of other than those. That might help. There was a dead end over there. Ooh, there's an item up there. Do we have a Pokemon that can hop this? Can Mudsdale hop these things? No. That's a dead end. Where am I supposed to go? Guess this way? I don't remember if I've already come over here or not. Ah. There we go. It's a Firo. How about no? How about a no? Get out of my face hole. <laughs> All right. I think we need to be a Tauros here. Tauros is one of my favorite all-time Pokemon. It's so cool that he got to be a ride. Really? We just killed all of your friends. <laughs> killed them. We murdered them. And their Pokemon, too. We're the, we're the freaking hash-slinging slashers of Poe Town. Jesus. All right. But uh, we're good. We're good here, because we can go for a workup, followed by a psychic. And then, if he survives that, we can go for a Shadow Sneak. Now, he will probably have Poison Fang again. Uh, yes, he does, but it's just going to break our disguise. Hopefully, it won't kill us next turn if he doesn't die from this Psychic. <laughs> Come on. Oh, not enough, not enough. We do outspeed, though. That's right. So, if we survive, which we do because it's neutral. Wait, no, it's not. Right? Is it? Do ghosts resist poison? Wow. I'm a nub. I'm a nub a dub dub. Yeah, that's right. I defeated you just like I defeated all 100 other one of your grunts. Grunt friends. Alright. Let's heal up Mimikyu here. Getting kind of low. You know what? Let's also just spray Super Repel. Just because. We have a fossil too. How do we get that restored? There's no new fossil Pokemon in this game that I'm aware of. I was looking in the wrong section for the potions. Well then. Get off you, bud. No need to ride this Tauros no more. No mole. Full heal. See, I've been hanging out with the Team Skull Grunts too much. Now I'm saying stuff like, no mole. No mole. <laughs> Although they don't say anything like that that I know of, but still. What's this say? Trainer tips Pokemon that drop off on... Grow more friendly toward you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because it's like sending them on a mini vacation. Is it this way? Where is... Ah, there it is. Got it. Poison Jab. Hey, that's not bad. I think Mimikyu might be able to learn Poison Jab. Somebody does. Oh, no, it's... um. Araquanid learns it. Right? Come on. Faster. Go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's Araquanid who learns is what I was thinking. Uh, Let's see what we could get rid of for it. We don't really need Aqua Ring. Yeah, Aqua Ring, we'll get rid of. Forget this move. Uh, it could be good to have that Poison Stab, although once we get Liquidation, honestly, Liquidation does so much damage to everything, even things that resist. The only time you don't use Liquidation over another move is if it four times resists a water move, which not many Pokemon do that I can think of. It would be like a Iron 
It'd be like a steel dragon type. Is there any steel dragon types? I don't know. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything. Yeah, let's... Oh, we can't spray another one because we're all out. Wait, 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 wait. Really? I have to do this again. All right, Zygarde Cube, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna see if I can remember what that that old guy's voice is. I'm gonna have to watch like my last live stream of this game because I think that's where I gave him his voice officially. All right, hold on. Before we end this episode, I guess we might as well go battle this chick over here. Make sure there's not an item in the middle. We gotta go that way, then left. Eh, Mimikyu, keep doing what you do. Do what you do, Mimikyu. Do what you do. Throw down. Let's throw down. Marini, that's its name. Marini. We're gonna sub another workup, or not another one for this battle, but you know what I mean. Like another, like we've been doing that like every battle, so we might as well. I'm gonna go for a Venom Shock, which normally I would be I would be scared of, but apparently, apparently it's neutral or something. Or we just ate that Golbat hit. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go for a Psychic. It probably won't kill just because these things are bulky. Uh, okay, really close. Really, really close, but it's gonna go for a toxic, of course, which is just gonna ruin our days because we just used an antidote like not that long ago, earlier this episode. <sighs> you just love to get poisoned, cosplay. People love to poison you. And boom, boom goes the dynamite. I kind of wanted to use my like ghost DMZ just to see what it looked like, but all's good. Level 37. Do we learn the Shadow Claw? Wants to learn Shadow Claw? <laughs> that was a shot in the dark, guys. That was just a shot in the dark, a hope and a prayer. And we're gonna learn that over Shadow Ball for sure. Boom. Look at that. We're looking good. Looking mighty fine. Libra level 45. Do you have a second Pokemon? Oh, yes. We even get to try out Shadow Claw on a four Mantis. Which, let's see. Yeah, never mind. I was going to say, uh, we might have a different move that's super effective, but we don't. We're just going to go straight for the Shadow Claw. Check it out. Should have went for my Z Crystal. If it survives, Z Crystal. Nope, doesn't survive. It's dead. It's gone. It's dead and gone. All right, it's gone, though. Seriously, it's dead. Velar, level 37. Not even bad. Not even bad. All right. Let's see, anything else that we may have missed? No. All right. One, before before I end this off, we're, we're heading back up there. That would be super lame. If I stopped it right right there. Just going up and down that cliff over and over again. So let's just head this way a tiny bit. I would like to see what is going down. Nothing. There's There's nowhere else over here. I don't know where I'm going anymore, guys. I'm lost. I am uber lost. uber de duber -de lost You know what we need is play rough. That's the last move we need, and then we're good to go. You know what I mean? Learn ourselves that nice old play rough swords dance, and we're we're good. This is like the best Mimikyu set you could ever have kind of thing. Yeah. No. Really want to get out of that grass. Be a row. Okay. <sighs> we can't even use Ghost DMZ on Firo. Get us out of there. Let's go. Mimic, you got 97 speed, 96 speed, something like that. You can get out of there. All right, guys. Well, as we're going to wrap it up because I need to figure out what I'm going to do in the next episode because apparently I'm I'm lost. I'm lost in this, this child's game. But thank you guys so much for... For checking out the video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, though, stay frosty and peace out.